Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. I have two DIYs for you guys today. For this shabby chic decor piece, I started out with a mirror from Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, I lost a little bit of the footage, but I just um, took the frame and painted it with some white chalk paint and I was just mostly dry brushing it so I could leave a little bit of that detail. Next, I'm just taking a piece of poster board and tracing around the back of the mirror that I took out of the frame and using that as a template I just cut out the poster board and then I am hot gluing that to that cardboard piece. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to glue paper on top of it and that cardboard is not very good quality. It has a lot of ridges and I just wanted my paper to lay flat. So I'm taking that um, paper that I have and it's kind of a tannish beige color and I got that, I believe, from Oriental Trading Company when I used to work there. But I'm sure you can find this anywhere. And so I'm just gluing that down with a simple glue stick. And then I'm cutting around the edges of that. And you can use white paper or really any color of your choosing. I just feel like this makes it look a little more aged with this tannish paper. And that's the look I'm going for. Next, I'm taking some lace that I had left over from when I worked at Oriental Trading Company. If you've been with me since the beginning of this channel, you know I used to work for Oriental Trading. So I had a lot of stuff that I got um, from there for a discounted price. And they do have a lot of cool craft items, um, but you can definitely find stuff like this at your local craft store. And then I just had a little bit left over, so I'm cutting the last piece in half to cover the top of the paper. Um, and you can definitely use a thinner ribbon if you don't have a thick one like this. You just have to use a little bit more. So you've probably seen in some of my last DIYs um, that I love to use this old songbook that I got at a thrift shop. Um, the pages are just so old and worn and I love that it has old American songs in it. And I am just taking a piece out of there. I just chose a song that I thought was cute and I'm just putting that as the focal point for this piece. If you don't have something like this you can definitely go to the thrift shop is a great place to find old books um, and you can maybe put one of your favorite passages or just anything that you like there. You could even use scrapbook paper, a design that you like. Um, if it doesn't look aged and that's the look you're going for, a great tip is to use um, an ink pad for stamps and just use that to distress the edges of the paper and that makes it look a little more old too without going through the whole process of aging the paper. So I'm just hot gluing down all of my lace. I really like the little scalloped edges so I'm doing a little overlap um, when I put that down and I love how that tan paper shows through and makes it look kind of aged. And then next I hot glue the paper down um, with my song and then all the rest of the embellishments are from Hobby Lobby and I'm sure you can pick up some cheaper ones at the Dollar Tree and things like that but for this look I just really wanted some shabby chic um, type flowers and things like that. You could even make your own burlap flowers. There's just so many ways you could go with this to make it cheaper um, or just more your own. And then so I'm placing that paper and the cardboard just back into that frame and if you haven't seen what I did in my last video with the mirror that I got from Dollar Tree that came with this frame I will leave that down in the links below so you can go check that out it's kind of a shabby chic mirror and I made a new frame for it so that turned out really cute and I'll leave that down below as well so this frame was originally kind of a silverish color and as you can see, like I said before, I just kind of dry brushed on that white chalk paint. Um, you can see like the little dots and I really like that detail so I just wanted to dry brush it so um, that could really stand out. So next I'm just hot gluing down all of my embellishments. Um, you'll actually find these in several different parts of the store at Hobby Lobby, so don't just um, look in one spot because they have different kinds in different areas. Um, and then these 
most of these flowers and bows and things come in packs of at least two or three and some of them come with a lot more um so they're not that expensive they last me a long time because i use um i use them for several different projects I really love the bow at the top, it's just so frilly and really, really shabby chic. But this is probably my favorite part I'm doing now. I'm just hot gluing down a string of pearls all around the edges of my frame. I just showed the one edge here, but I just hot glued um, the pearls around all the edges. And I got that string of pearls from Hobby Lobby as well. Um, they're pretty cheap if I remember and it comes on a big roll. For the last step, I just have this cute little paper rose that I got um, in the paper studio section by the scrapbooking. Um, these come in a pack with pink and a kind of a tealish color, which I love. So pretty and they're super glittery. Um, so they're a little bit messy, but I just think they are so adorable and just really add to the look. So next I have this box shelf that I made and I am no expert with building things but I thought this was pretty simple so I thought I would give it a try. Um, if you guys know a better way of doing this please leave me some tips down in the um, comments and let me know how you would have done it. So first I was just mixing up some black apple barrel paint with some water and I'm just putting that onto these boards with my paintbrush and wiping it off with a paper towel. This leaves kind of a stained effect. Um, and I'm just going to paint over that with my white chalk paint once it's dry and then later that way when I sand to distress it later it's going to have a little bit of black coming up from underneath and it just gives it an older look than if you had sanded it and it was just that new wood showing through. I didn't do full coverage with my white paint just because I did want a little bit to show through already anyway. <laughs> That's my boyfriend's son. He always has to add his little something to the videos. <laughs> um, but I just went ahead and did a little bit of paint. I just left some of that black showing through so it looked extra distressed. So I just did the one coat. And then I'm taking my electric sander and sanding that down. As you can see, the black shows through and makes it look... I'm really old and distressed and I just love, 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 love that effect. And I am using an electric sander, but you can definitely use just some regular sandpaper if you don't have an electric sander. It's very easy to get that look. The chalk paint is so easy to um, sand off, so it's pretty easy to do it by hand too. I got this wood from the 75% off pile at Home Depot because I wasn't too worried about it being perfectly straight or anything like that. But if you are, you can definitely get one off of the regular shelf. Um, and I just cut these with my power saw. If you don't have one, you can have Home Depot cut it for you. And then um, I made one foot pieces. And then I'm just making a square here. I use my wood glue on each corner just to give it an extra hold. And then I am using some little nails from Walmart to nail the corners together and then I just have two nails on each corner you see my boyfriend and his son walking by all the time <laughs> um those are his cute little toes but anyway so I just did the nails on each corner and then I also put a staple in each corner on both sides and then for the last step I'm using some chicken wire that I had left over from a few other projects and I just got this at Home Depot and I'm using my stapler um, to put that to the back and then I just cut the edges with my wire snips. I am just obsessed with how these turned out. I think they're absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to hang them up. I actually ran out of paint so I was only able to do the one box. Um, but I'm going to have both of them hanging up in the house and one higher than the other. So I think it'll add a little bit of dimension to the walls too instead of just having uh, flat pieces against the wall. So anyway, I just love how they turned out. I hope you guys liked this video too. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload. And if you like this video, please share it with your family and friends if you think they'd like it too. Once we get to 200 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.